Just days after body cam footage is released in the controversial arrest of a black man by a white police officer in La Mesa, all charges have now been dropped. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. 23-year-old Amari Johnson was originally charged with resisting arrest and assaulting an officer. A confrontation captured on video shows the officer repeatedly shoving Johnson to sit down at the Grossmont Trolley Station last week. News 8's Richard Allen has more on today's decision by La Mesa Police and the continuing calls for justice. Well, that's right. La Mesa Police issued a short one sentence statement saying after a full review of this case, they have chosen not to prosecute Amari Johnson. And while police have not returned our request for comment for further details, the attorney representing Johnson, Genevieve Jones Wright, had plenty to say about this decision. Absolutely not enough. Absolutely not enough. The attorney representing 23 year old Omari Johnson says the La Mesa Police Department's announcement Friday that charges will not be pursued against Johnson is far from sufficient. I did not see an acknowledgement of a violation of his human and constitutional rights. I did not see a commitment from the La Mesa Police Department that this would never happen again on their watch. The controversial arrest captured on video last week at the Grossmont Trolley Station shows the officer repeatedly grabbing and shoving Johnson in the moments before he was detained. La Mesa Police say that officer originally contacted Johnson for allegedly smoking at the station, which he denied. While ultimately charged with resisting arrest and assaulting a police officer, body cam footage released by the La Mesa Police Department on Wednesday does not show that. La Mesa's police chief was asked at that time if he saw Johnson making any contact with the arresting officer. I did review the video. Um, it's not prudent for me to contact or make a comment on it, but that's why the video is being provided. At that same briefing, Omari Johnson himself spoke out against the La Mesa police. Because obviously they're not willing to hold themselves accountable. Outrage over Johnson's arrest combined with anger over George Floyd's death in police custody in Minneapolis Memorial Day led to protests last weekend in La Mesa, which on Saturday night led to two women, including a 59-year-old grandmother, being shot with a projectile during the protests. As for Friday's announcement that Omari Johnson would not face charges. While he is happy for himself, he has a broader perspective. He never wants another person to go through this kind of contact with law enforcement again. And so he wants change. And no word yet whether Omari Johnson plans to pursue any legal action against the La Mesa police or the arresting officer. That arresting officer, by the way, remains on leave. Back to you.